We are in the kitchen with Ginger Bar and Bistro Executive Chef Marianne Deary. Welcome Thank back you again very much, Nikki. from the couch to the kitchen. And More what, comfortable in the kitchen. Exactly, <laughs> I know you are. And what's sashimi without sake? We are also joined by Linda Tetro. Welcome, Linda. Thank you. Great to have you. And Linda is actually president of Floating World Sake. And Marianne joined us earlier, as I mentioned in the show, and she talked a little bit about Ginger itself. But let's talk more about the menu. I mean, you know, we're talking a lot about the Asian influence with a twist, not this kind of twist. And so tell us about some of the items that we'd find on the menu. Well, one of the items that we're doing tonight, it's today, excuse me, today it's its debut. And oh. it's actually the tuna sashimi. And I've revised the recipe that's on the menu. Oh my and gosh. And I've added a little bit of New Mexican chili. Nice. And some cumin, a little ginger, and also some coriander. What's ginger without ginger? You've got it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I feel very privileged. I get the executive chef to debut a new dish here, right here on New Mexico Style. That's I'm a privilege. I'm hoping you like it, Nikki. Well, you're also updating the menu in general. So what, what kind of changes can the loyal customers expect? You know what? We're going to be um, adding on a Mongolian beef. Oh, yes, you mentioned And Mongolian. a lot of the things that we, we add, have added on, we've done run as specials. And one of the specials that I've created was also a tempura, ahi tempura mm. roll. Yummy, And yum. that's gone over well, so we're putting that on the menu as well. Oh, I'm excited for that. I know a lot of people will be. And Linda, you are actually pairing the tuna sashimi today with some sake. So for the novice, tell them what sake actually is. Sake is a rice, wine, alcohol beverage. Okay. And one of the things you and I just talked about before was the fact that with sake, it's, it's a much lighter drink. I mean, a lot of times I love to drink wine, but it, it makes my stomach a little unsettled. That doesn't happen with sake, so tell us a little bit about how it's made. Sake is made in a very unique process. Okay. It only uses rice, water, yeast, and a very special koji mold that's used to prepare the rice that's a grain to be able to be fermented by the yeast. See, I never knew that. I love, I love learning things every day about this. Now, a lot of times when we drink sake, we think it should be served very warm. Is that necessary, or is, do people like to drink it cold as well? Um, the type of sake that we're having today, uh -huh. and a lot of the higher grades of sake, are actually meant to be drunk chilled. Really? So we're going to be drinking cold sake tonight. Okay. Nice. So, but you can do either or, right? I mean, is it is it bad to do it warm? You know, there, there are warm sake has a place. Okay. Um, but. Some sakes are better suited to warming, and some sakes are better suited to being chilled. Okay. When you um, make sake, when uh -huh. you brew sake, the first thing you do is take off the outside of the brown rice to get to the pure starch in the middle. Okay. Okay. So wow. <laughs> when you when you take off the outsides of the rice, you develop uh, fruity and light flavors, mm, and which you're gonna is what I like. you're gonna taste some of those lighter flavors in the sake. And when you heat the sake. Um, you bring up the bottom notes. I see, okay. And you eliminate a lot of the fragrance and the fruitiness. So that's good to have it chilled then, so that you don't lose any of those ingredients. I like that idea. Yeah. I'm so, excited to try yeah. this. Well, as Marianne continues to prepare the tuna sashimi, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little sake flight. So tell us about this. I'm okay. so excited. Um, what we have here is we have um, three different sake. Sake okay. flights are just a great way uh, for people who don't know this kind of sake uh, to be able to try it. Okay. Um, so what we have here is three sakes. They're um, a little bit sweeter to go with the um, sweetness in the sashimi um, and in the sauces, and it really goes well with the fish. Okay, and Marian, do you generally at the restaurant, do you all recommend to the customers what works best with what meal exactly. so we can pair correctly? Yeah, exactly. Linda does some tastings with us as oh, well. Oh, good. Great. And, and she educates, educates us as well. It's fun to get a little education while you enjoy a good sake and mm -hmm. good delicious food. Okay. Okay, so let's take that flight together. Give me a little bit of a, a clue what we're doing first. Uh, the first sake mm -hmm. is called the Ichishima Silk Deluxe. Okay. It's extremely light and mild and smooth. Mmm, smells good. You can um, taste it. Okay. There's cucumbers. Ooh, I love it. And melon. It's very light, very smooth. And, oh, this um, is good. For people who have only had hot sake, mm -hmm. this is a great introduction to what kinds of ranges of flavors and tastes a master brewer can bring out in sake. Oh, this is fantastic. When this show is over, my producer must, must taste this. I'm saying this on the air. She must taste this. This is fantastic. Okay. 
Mm. Okay. Love. And next, okay. we got to move it along a little bit so we can okay, get to the, the food, Okay, the next too. sake is uh, an unfiltered sake. You'll notice that it's... Um, it's not as clear. It's not as clear. It's cloudy. That's pieces of the unfermented rice particles. Oh, that's um, what that means. Okay. You're going to get a nose of um, bananas mm. and tropical fruits. Oh, you're right. Okay, let me taste that. It's got a thicker mouthfeel, but it's not overwhelmingly it's still sweet. Very good. No, it's not overwhelming. <laughs> I thought it would be a little bit, but it's no, not. No, no. This is a really nice Junmai high quality oh, nice. um, nigori. Okay. The last one is quite Ooh. sweet and very unusual. This is a. Um, a it's a plum wine. Okay. But it's a real plum wine, and it's made with sake and real plums. Plum is my favorite, by the way. So you're gonna immediately um, you smell the mm -hmm. brightness and the acidity. I do. I do. Mm. It's tart. Ooh, that's sweet. <laughs> it's very sweet. It has sugar and in it. And tart at the same time. Sweet and tart. Yeah, it's sweet got tart. kind of a granny it's a apple. Of a drink. A granny apple <laughs> sweetness to it. Um, so it's Ooh. sweet, but it can still be paired with food very successfully. Oh my gosh, Linda, that's amazing. Well, we'll get back to that in a moment. Thank you for that little education. I love that. And while we're thinking about, we're going to be talking more about the sake, but in the meantime, what's going on over here? Over here, I've started up a hot pan that okay. I'm going to end up searing this tuna mm -hmm. with. Um, would you like me to show you the process? I would love it, yes. Okay. Uh, this is a grade A sashimi tuna. And what we do first is we put salt on it. Wow, that looks um, beautiful. Both sides. I patted it dry just a little earlier. Okay. And... Just a little salt then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then enough. the spice mixture mm. that I have here is going to go, we're going to put it on here. Okay. And you're going to have to be careful with um, the oil and Popping. the heat. Popping well, also, <laughs> yeah, it's not just that, but it's actually with the red chili that I've added to this, oh. you know, it getting into your throat. A little stuff. kick. Yeah, a little kick. Yeah, okay, no In problem. the air, so. And no, I think that that's smoking hot, which it is, is where it needs to be. Okay. So it's going to go right in. It's going to go in there for about 45 seconds. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have never watched this be done. This is so exciting to me. Oh, good. good. And good. while that's doing that, I also want to mention to Linda that you are actually a panelist in the first ever sake seminar that is going to be in the upcoming Wine and Chili Festival, and that's happening in Santa Fe. And this is the first time. Tell us about that. It is the first time. We're really excited about it. We put together a panel of four people, okay. me and um, my partner Deborah Fly, who's okay. going to be the moderator, and um, two other uh, sake distributors. And over the course of an hour, we're going to take people through um, approximately nine different sakes. We're going to go uh -huh. through the, the complicated brewing process, and then we're going to focus on um, getting people to understand how to read the bottles, how to taste it, oh, um, help them great. educate their palate so that at the end of the um, seminar, they'll have a good understanding of the fine sake market. Oh, I love it. And it hasn't been done before, so it's about time. It is about right? time. <laughs> now, yeah. you flipped it after 45 seconds, so yeah. now we're on to the next. And I see you slicing it up for us. Right. And then I'm going to plate it over here. Okay. Um, I've made a salad oh, good. with um, a really nice dressing, and it's got fresh Ooh. ginger, Ooh. and I planed it in there. It's very, very it yummy. Yes. Yeah. Very, very yummy. May I just say the presentation is absolutely fantastic, and I'm I'm, I'm getting my chopsticks ready for when we come back to taste. But <laughs> oh, first, I want to let all our viewers know where they can find Ginger Bar and Bistro. Now that we've really got them all excited about mm -hmm. it, we have to let them know there are three locations, as we mentioned earlier: one on the west side, 505-792-8776, and of course, you can find another location in the Northeast Heights as well as out in Santa Fe. And when we come back, we are going to be tasting this amazing meal. We'll pair it with some more sake. Can't say no to that. That's good. <laughs> For today's recipe, log on to casa.com. We'll be right back. Looking forward to it and happy to have you joining us in the kitchen. Of course, we're here with Marianne of Ginja, and we've also got Linda here giving us a great education on sake. I've decided the silk is my favorite. <laughs> I can't seem to stop drinking. I love it. And tell us what you did on the break so we can uh, we can have a better understanding of this new tuna sashimi dish you've prepared. Yeah, I've got this sauce together during the break. Yes. And it's got a little bit, it's a lot of fresh ginger that's mm -hmm. been planed in there. Wow. Some fresh mint and cilantro. Mm -hmm. And also green onions. Oh, all as, ingredients that yeah, I love. As well as a little soy and some marin. Ooh. So uh, what I do with the, the finishing touches, I've put it on the salad already. Okay. And what I do is do a little finishing touch on the tuna itself before uh, serving it. 
wow. right over the center like that. How beautiful is that, Marian? As I said, a beautiful presentation. Thank you. Both of you, thank you so much. And a thank you to all of today's guests. We appreciate all of our viewers as well. And if there's anything you want to know from today's show, just log on to our website at casa.com. I can't wait any longer. Can we please taste? Please. Oh, oh thank you. Got your chopsticks? Uh, we got to taste. Got them now. Okay. Do I just bite? <laughs> and it's hard with it's hard to cut with the chopsticks. Oh, yeah. I'll just take a bite. Mm. Let's see. I'm gonna cheat. Oh, oh, that is so good. Oh, nice. Mm. Oh my gosh, yes, the I sauce is delicious. Oh, I won't leave you out. You can taste it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh my goodness. Good. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great to have you. Thank you so much. It was much. a pleasure to be here, Nikki. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. 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 <laughs> I'm going to have a little ginger from Ginger. Nice. Ginger's ginger.